Survivor Season 41, Episode 7 recap coming your way. And all I have to say is, wow, wow, what an awesome episode of Survivor. They they came back from the ashes like a phoenix coming from the, the ashes. They turned this season around so Oh, thank God. Thank God they turned the season around. This episode was amazing. Now, hold up. Hold up. All right. If you're if you're like me and you watched episode six last week and you were like, this is the end of Survivor. I'm done. This isn't Survivor anymore. I'm giving up. Hold up. Watch this episode and then come back. And if you still don't like it, then I can't help you because this episode was great. So here's your final warning. Episode 7 recap coming your way. All right. So the the episode left off. And and, and by the way, last week week's episode, episode 6, was a dumpster fire. Awful. Awful in every single way possible. So confusing. The most unfair advantage of all time. We pick up from that episode and, duh, Erica is going to smash the thing, keep herself safe, and the reverse the outcome of the challenge. Who who wouldn't do that? I mean, it wasn't really a cliffhanger. It wasn't really a strategical move that she had to make. It wasn't something that she can really really build uh, her resume with because it was a no brainer. So she reversed the the outcome, and I really feel for that tribe. I mean, it's it's really unfair. The the person that went home tonight really didn't deserve it. They won immunity. They should be safe, plain and simple. Had they just left that twist out of it, it would have been completely fine. Now, we got lucky that there was great television later on, great tribal council later on, but come on, please get rid of this exile, turn back time advantage Awful. Let's get rid of it for good. The challenge uh, was between Evie, Sydney, Danny, Deshaun, Nasir, and Ricard. And I got to tell you, if you don't like feet, then you were probably looking away from the, the TV on this one because they had to build a stack of blocks and then put a, a flag in the holder all with their feet. And I'm sorry, I don't really want to see people's nasty, grimy, disgusting feet on full display in HD. I mean, that's just not something that I'm into. So a uh, little bit of uh, a weird choice. It would seem to be a good challenge, difficult for sure, but uh, I don't want to be staring at people's feet. Ugh. But anyway, Ricard wins, and this is important to note. He beats out Sydney by like half a second. They were both on the edge, ready to put the little flag in the slot, and Ricard edges out Sydney. Now let's let's let the the tribal discussions, the deliberation, engage. Okay. Now, Liana played so 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 poorly. I mean, everyone's out there saying Liana's going to win. She's got the producers at it. She's getting so much screen time. She is not a good player. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, she's not a good player. She had the most overpowered advantage in Survivor history, which is she could steal someone's idol by by asking, by knowing where it was. By knowing someone has an idol, you can take it from them. This advantage is only useful if no one knows that it exists. The moment that you tell Shan... And people are blaming Shan for bringing it up in front of Tiffany. No, it's not Shan's fault, which, sure, that was dumb. But Shan probably assumed it was just an extra vote. It was on Liana for actually sharing what the advantage was. Like, not thinking that this news would get out. And newsflash, it did. And it circulated. Tiffany spread that, spread that news like wildfire. Okay, everyone knew about this advantage and Xander's reaction of when he found out was priceless. As soon as he found out about that, it was game over for Liana. 
Game over. She was done. And I love how Leanna was so smug. She was saying, I'm going to be a poverty and play off some of these big all-time moves. And I'm going to show that I am an actually, uh, I, I, I am actually a smart player. So her, her whole pl- plan going into tribal was to take the adva- the idol for from Xander so that he couldn't play it on Evie and then vote out Evie. Now, I got to say this. Ballsy, ballsy move from Xander for one wanting to play his idol for Evie. I feel like a lot of times in this game we don't see people using their idol to save other people. So go. it really shows uh, Xander's allegiance to Evie and Tiffany, those, those power three, uh, for wanting to pull off this move. What Leanna also screwed up was not telling Evie about this advantage she complete as soon as the merge happened she completely burned the bridge with her old tribe now she's on the majority alliance somehow i don't i don't don't know how if that's gonna last but she's painted a huge target on her back for one trying to get this advantage if i was on part of the majority team with liana i'd want to get her out next because people are saying oh one she had this knowledge is power thing And she didn't tell me or she was trying to get all this power for herself. Hmm. Who do you want to target next? All right. So we get to Tribal Council in production. Brilliant move on the editing production team. They play it up that Xander is a buffoon and he's just going to whip out his idol for Lyanna to steal it. And Xander knows at this point that Leanna has this advantage. What's funny about this is that Leanna knows that Xander knows about the advantage. I know, it's hard to follow. But when that information came back to Leanna, I was confused as to why she decided to still play it. Like, why, why not just shift your vote completely to someone else? I think it I think the advantage was burning a hole in her pocket and she just wanted to get rid of it, which I don't blame her because it's not really a great advantage once it's circulated that you have it. So ultimately it's on her for misplaying it. Now, we get to tribal. Okay? They're targeting Evie. They're they're playing it up that Xander's gonna whip out his idol and Leanna's gonna do it. What I was uh a little confused by is that Leanna was just able to openly play her advantage because at the end, uh, after voting on every episode so far, Jeff says, if you have a hidden immunity idol or an advantage and you would like to play it, but Leanna just got to skip that. Like what would happen if Xander just gave the idol to Evie right then and there? She plays it. I guess the I, I guess the advantage works so that if you played it, then you can still take it. Either way, Xander masterfully played the situation. He actually made a fake idol. They cut back to earlier in the day, and Xander, classic. No, I don't have an idol, but you can have this fake. <laughs> oh man! And Leanne is like, oh yeah, okay, mm-hmm, yeah, mm, yeah. Thanks, Xander. Yeah, you already said that. And meanwhile, Tiffany is the one holding it this for her. So chaos ensues. The majority alliance, they don't know what they're going to do now because they think Evie's holding the idol. So now they are get, jumping up and around and they're trying to figure out what to do. And now they're going to split the votes, put some on Sydney, some on Evie. Meanwhile, the minority alliance, they're going for Deshaun. So long story short, Xander played Liana like a little fiddle, and we go into voting. The voting, no shocker here, you watch the episode, Sydney gets voted out by a count of five votes Sydney, four votes Evie, three votes Deshaun. Now, here's an interesting point. Sydney's confessional pretty much said, I should have 
just voted, I wasted my vote. If I had voted, then I wouldn't be out. She decided to waste her vote to play the shot in the dark. However, that was actually Sydney's best case at staying because essentially she must have thought that they were going to play the idol on Evie. That was the plan. She had agreed, I'm going to play my shot in the dark. You're going to play the idol on Evie. And Deshaun's going to go home, hoping that we have enough votes for Deshaun and that the other tribe voted all their votes on Evie. It didn't end up turning out that way. If Sydney still had a vote, she probably would have voted for Deshaun, in which it would have still been 5-4-4. The only way that she would have actually been safe is if she played the shot in the dark successfully or if she had somehow predicted that they weren't going to play the idol on Evie and she voted out Evie instead. Um, and that was really... That would have been a risky move for her to all of a sudden switch and vote for Evie. There would have been a revote five five, and everyone would have revoted and voted out Evie. So it it really is unfortunate to see Sydney go. Uh, the luck didn't pan out with her shot in the dark. I think if the shot in the, the dark was successful, then Evie would have uh, Xander would have allowed the the idol to be played on Evie. Evie would have been safe and Deshaun would have been going home tonight. Um, but you can't, I can't really blame Sydney for the way she played. Still don't think that she deserved to go home tonight. I think it was really unfair that any of these five uh, had to go through that. So hopefully they get rid of that twist. I was really appreciative that they showed Danny's reaction to this twist. Him pretty much saying at the at the beach, like, they guaranteed us two things, a feast and immunity. Am I right? You're absolutely right, uh, Danny. And they just kind of pulled the rug right right underneath you. Meanwhile, they show Deshaun, and he's like, this certainly isn't the survivor that I was expecting, but, you know, we gotta, we gotta adapt to the situations. And I'm like, no, Danny, uh, uh, Deshaun, no. Shut up. Like, this is stupid. Everyone thinks this is stupid. Like, I, I love that Danny reacted the way he did. I hope that they realize how stupid that was so that they don't have to put anyone through this again. Now, after last week, I was very nervous that Survivor was going to take a big downhill. I mean, they really couldn't get any worse from last week's episode. However, things fortunately planned out so perfectly. Xander played the the most epic game. He, the, his ability to read people in this episode was absolutely unbelievable. Okay, one, he played Liana so bad, which I think she deserved because she was so smug about being this this big shot and then just it totally backfired. He makes a fake idol, makes her waste an advantage for absolutely nothing. And he was able to waste Deshaun's extra vote. Deshaun voted twice for Evie, which makes no sense to me. Someone must have missed missed the the split the votes because why else would Deshaun put two votes on Evie he clearly wanted Evie out so why why would he even use the extra vote at that point it made no sense to me so Xander won and then get this okay at the end they're about to play their their idol for Evie and he goes no don't do it they wouldn't have targeted her Sorry, Sydney, but don't play it. And Evie's freaking out. Come on, man. I want to be on the merge. And it worked. And it was luck. I, I, there's no way he could have known for sure. And I think once it got to 4-4, four, four, he was like, I'm sorry, Evie. I, I screwed up here. But it worked. And it was so good. And he was pumping his fit. He's like, let's go. Like, we still have our idol. We still have our extra vote. We're not maybe on the, uh, the minority here. But... Oh, we're coming for you now, Liana. Liana and Shan both played this so poorly. And as much uh, as credit that Shan gets for all of the pre-merge boots so far, um, 
I don't, I don't think she's really playing all that strong of a game. It's kind of reckless. Like her her ability to 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 have that blow up in their face. I mean, how do you do that? How do you mess something up that bad? I mean, that's that's impressive in its own right. Like that should have been a cinch. Leanna should have told no one. She should have just lied that say, yeah, it's an extra. And then she would have had her her pickings. She could have took uh, Nasir. She could have even took Shans. She could have took uh, uh, Xander's idol, no problem. But instead, she had to run her mouth, and it backfired. All I can say is thank God for this episode. I'm finally excited about Survivor again. I think that, and here's the thing, here's something that I find very interesting. The knowledge is power advantage can create some unique circumstances because I was on the edge of my seat the entire night. I was like, oh, well, what if they do this? Or what if they split the votes? And I was really trying to figure out what was going on. And they kept you on your toes guessing. Like the, the existence of this advantage i think is is an interesting element to the game what i didn't like is that they didn't tell anyone about it so it was an overpowered advantage because no one knew about it if they tell players in the beginning that knowledge is power is out there and that it, it does exist in the confines of this game then i think they should keep it yeah it's interesting it, i mean the way it played out tonight was very very interesting you have to be very sneaky about who you share information with clearly because information is the most valuable asset in this game so i think if they are going to incorporate it into future seasons one don't do a three part idol where pretty much the existence of the idols is shared amongst everyone um, make the idols hidden so that you have to be guessing who has an idol or not. And then have people guessing if the knowledge is power is out there. Now, it would be harder for them to guess. But if it played out and someone was able to successfully steal it in that case, then really it's it's good on them at that point because they were able to figure it out and 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 steal it from the, the right person. So I think that's going to be interesting moving forward in, in future seasons. I'm hoping that the rest of the season, they just kind of chill. Okay. Now that the, the, the overpowered advantage is out of the game, there's still a lot going on. There's still three idols out there. There's still three steal of votes out there. Everyone has a shot in the dark. There's enough. Cool your jets a little bit. Let them play it out because tonight's episode of them figuring out who they were going to vote for was so so good so satisfying so like this these are going to be some iconic moments in survivor history um so I, i'm i'm excited i'm excited for survivor now um i gotta really you know give credit to xander uh Props to Xander, props to Tiffany, too. Xander's playing the more boastful game. Uh, he's going to paint a big target on his back. But Tiffany is the one that informed him about it. And she she's sneaky, man. She's she's going to she's going to sneak in there. Also, got to uh, end this recap with a shout out to Heather, because if the show's not going to show her, then I sure as, or sure as heck am going to give Heather some, some love out there. Man, they haven't shown her at all. Like, what did she do to anyone? Like, at least, at least give her a confessional. Like, she's just there. She's the only one that hasn't done anything. It's just, it's sad at this point. Last point I'm going to make is I'm really surprised that after everything Erica went through, she still decided to vote on the same side as her old tribe. Sydney was the one that ended up flipping and voting with Xander and Evie and Tiffany. So after all that, she's going to change the game. She's still going to be on the bottom of the totem pole. She really had an opportunity to vote out Deshaun there, and she wasted it. So that's really on Erica. Um... Not really a great move for her. I think in the power rankings, Leanna's going way down. I don't think she's playing a smart game at all. Shan, uh, who I had at number one for so long, 
I'm gonna actually drop her out of the top three. And, and and guys, again, this is this is all speculation. I feel like they're gonna throw in some major twists. It's gonna be hard to predict moving forward. But for what it's worth, I guess I think you gotta put Xander in the top three. Um, <laughs> throw Heather in there as a goat. Why not? And I really do think uh, Xander, Tiffany, and Evie, they're going to be a powerful three if they stick together. They're the underdogs right now. I'm going to be rooting for them. Um, I also like Danny because I, I'm with him that, that that hourglass twist was completely unfair. And I'm really glad that they uh, the production deci decided to show the players' reactions instead of just sweeping it under the rug and, and showing Deshaun, like, yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm adapting, yeah. No, no, it's stupid. I'm with you, Danny. So, wow, great episode seven. I'm actually excited for next week. I wasn't, I'm not dreading it anymore. Last week, episode six had me dreading Survivor, and that's just... That's pathetic. That's hard to do. So uh, great episode. Wow. I'm excited. And I'll see you guys next week. Woo.